Is there a ball like it? Yeah. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Jayana, I go by Jay. I'm 22 years old and I'm currently in my third semester out of five of nursing school. This semester I'm taking adult health, mental health, and evidence-based practice with clinicals in both adult health and also in mental health. And this video is all about how I've been able to make A's in nursing school. I am going to be completely upfront and honest in saying that my entire process for studying is very strenuous. There's a lot of work that goes into it, but it pays off every single time. There has never been a time where this study method has let me down. So it works, I promise. You just have to put the work in. So here is just like a little synopsis overview kind of of what I do. So when we go to class, we have PowerPoints that are posted before the lecture starts. So I'll go into PowerPoints and then under the presenter notes, I'll write any extra information or any golden nuggets that the professor may say like, hey, make sure you know this for the test or in following off of this, I didn't put this in the slide, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'll put that in the presenter's notes or if something just makes, if I understand something, but it makes better sense when I put it in my own words, then I'll also put that in the presenter's notes. So after we finish that slide, I go home and I don't do any other work for the rest of the day, except like not on that class. I don't do any other work. If I have work in another class, I'll do that. But as far as the class that I had lectured and I took notes in, not looking at it at all until the next day. So when the next day gets here, I am going to take that PowerPoint with the prisoner's notes and I am going to write up a Word document with like headings, settings, <laughs> headings and settings, headings, subheadings, and like different little sections. And I'm going to rewrite that entire PowerPoint, but in my own words. Then I'm stopping for the day. That's all. Not doing anything else for that class for that day. Then the next day, I am going to take all those PowerPoint questions and I'm going to do either one of two things. I'm going to make it into a Quizlet, which is the option that I prefer the most because it's like easy and even if you're on the go like you have it. Or I'm going to make physical like writing down study guide questions, like print it out and then physically write on it. Um, that has also been helpful. Um, or since I'm in adult health now, we're really focused on like, okay, what's wrong with this person? How are they going to present? Like what are their clinical manifestations? Um, what procedures, surgical or non-surgical, are we going to do? What medications are they going to get? Um, what should the nurse know about post-op care and then what patient education can we provide? So I feel like that is better suited for a concept map. Now believe me, in patho, I was a huge hater of concept maps. But for adult health, it just kind of makes sense to see everything split up in that way. Um, so yeah, and then after that's done, for the rest of the days, I pretty much know the topic now. So I'm just going to keep reviewing that Quizlet over and over again. And like when we get to the next chapter, the next time we have class, I'll do the same thing that I just said but I'm gonna like add that Quizlet to the other Quizlet and it just kind of like builds on itself. It sounds really confusing. I'm gonna take y'all through the entire process and you'll kind of see a little bit better of what I'm talking about. But yeah, when I tell you it works every time, it works every time. Okay, so right now I am about to go to Starbucks to get some food for me and Napoleon. Well, she doesn't want food, she just wants a drink. But food and a drink for me and then just a drink for Napoleon. And we are gonna go study at CCN, which is the name of our nursing building. Um, I don't necessarily know what she's studying for. I'm gonna assume that she's studying for NCLEX, which is basically the um, board exam that you have to take in order to be like a registered nurse. Um, so she's studying for that. I think I'm gonna study heart strips and she's probably gonna help me because me and cardiac do not get along. Ooh, these train tracks. But yeah, me and cardiac just don't get along. So hopefully she'll be able to help me. And then can I have a grande hot white mocha? Right now, white chocolate mocha, you want to be free? Uh, yes, please. Okay, right, I'll order for you. And then can I have a turkey, bacon, and cheddar egg white sandwich? Okay. And then can I get no egg whites on that? So it's the turkey, bacon, and the cheddar? Oh, no egg. Yes, please. Y'all missed it, but when I first got on, <laughs> I don't think she did the intercom was on, and she was like, oh my God, I just wanna go home. Welcome to Starbucks, what can I get for ya? <clears throat> and then I ordered my drink, and I get an iced caramel macchiato with four pumps of classic, a venti. And she was like, you want four pumps of classic? Like the sweetener? And I was like, yes. And she was like, on top of the vanilla? And I said, yes. She was like, whoa, Chad, that's a lot of sweetness, girl. I will never be ordering that again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a great one. 
Okay, I would like to make a correction. His pronouns are he, him, and not she, her. So that's very important. Um, but he was having a rough day. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but he was he was fed up, which I, I feel like working at Starbucks, you are an essential worker. You are a hero, especially in a college town at my college. No, you're a hero. Um, so now I am headed to go meet Napoleon at the nursing building, and we're gonna be studying heart strips. <laughs> which I hate, um, but hopefully it goes well. I don't know, we'll see. I know longer, longer stop is a wiki bop. That's all I know. Okay, y'all, so I'm here in Napoleon. Okay, so remember I was telling y'all I was at Starbucks and I got that sandwich. <laughs> Why is there nothing on here? Man. I don't even know what this is. I think it's supposed to be bacon. I thought it was ham. You think ham comes sliced like that? I don't know. Is it salami? I hope not. Okay, that's ham. No. Okay. That's turkey. Mm. So I got turkey and bread. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was it supposed to have cheese on it? Oh, and an egg. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. And then I got my ice caramel macchiato. And then I got Napoleon her drink. Um, and then we went upstairs to see one of our old clinical instructors. Y'all, she is big and pregnant. She's big and I love her. She's not giving birth at my hospital, which good for her. Um, <laughs> but I do hope that I can see her baby after her baby is born. Oh, it's almost a baby. Right. Um, and it was just so mm -hmm. weird, like, seeing people in second semester up there, because I was in second semester last year, and they were, like, afraid to even put the needle on top of the syringe. And, like, now I go to my bed, I don't care. Let me pull it out. 10, 18 gauge. Let's go. Which is crazy, like, how much confidence you build, like, from semester to semester. But it's cute. It was... Nice. And so now Napoleon is going to force me to do heart strips, even though I told her that I don't want to do this. Friends helping friends. Mm-mm. Because -mm. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all, cardiac is not my bread and butter. I don't get it. All I'm going to tell you to do is do a dash diet and get out of my face. Because Gee. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. But I guess I'll keep y'all updated and see how this goes. But I'm going to predict it's not going to go very well. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of a mental block. I think it's just because I know for a fact that I don't like cardiac. I'll never have to deal with cardiac extensively, knock on wood, for labor and delivery. So like, I'll never be having to like read a strip. I read a strip for like baby monitoring until they deliver, but like it's never this extensive, you know what I'm saying? So I am a person who like, if I can write it down, it helps. And so I printed out the first telemetry PowerPoint that we did. And then we also had another PowerPoint. So I printed both of those out so that I can write on it and like add notes so that I can look back on it. And then she also made us some practice EKG strips. It's really bright in here, so it's probably really hard to see. Um, so I printed out three of those. And I feel like right before a test, it'll help to just kind of like skim over it. Not try to like learn it per se, but just like look over it right before the test. So I'm gonna try to do these and then I'll be back and I'll let y'all know. Okay. <laughs> I'll let y'all know how it goes. Okay, so we have these wipes at the hospital that I work at. They're called Sandy Cloths. They have purple ones and black ones. Apparently, the you're not supposed to touch them like with your bare hands because they cause cancer. Hey. When was you gonna tell me that? That I was not in the PowerPoint. Know. That was not in the PowerPoint. Why? Why you can't touch them? If they cause cancer, why are we wiping them on everything? Just like, because they dry, but like, why are they wet and you just bare hand them just all in your pool? Well, y'all, I probably have C. diff. Um, <laughs> you read the bottle. And hopefully I don't have cancer, because that would be nice. No, I think it's like from long-term exposure. Well, I only did it the one time to wipe off my okay. shoes, because I had blood and amniotic fluid all over me. Okay, so don't just do it all the time. No wonder they be full. <laughs> okay, so I think it's been about like 30 minutes since I talked to y'all. It is currently 4.07. We still got the coffee shop music going. Um, I'm still going through all the PowerPoints. I've gotten through all like the first half of the rhythm. So 
Um, regular sinus rhythm, sinus brady, sinus tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, a flutter, junctional rhythm, accelerated junctional rhythm, and supraventricular tachycardia. And so now I'm doing the heart blocks. Um, I already went through first degree heart blocks for a first degree. There really isn't any treatment. There's like really nothing you could do. You could stop or like hold your medications, but like nothing really to do. Second degree type one is a winky box. Longer, longer till they drop. That's how you know it's a winky box. So the PR interval gets longer, longer, and then like it completely drops. And there's a P, but there's no QRS. And then a type two, I think Napoleon said they're called Morbis, but like there wasn't a name for it on the slide. Um, with those, the PR interval is longer still, but they're longer consistently from each interval until it drops and then there's nothing, so. So yeah, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, it just takes, it just took me a while to like study, get it, understand it, understand why it's happening and like what medications are used to treat it. But so far it's going good. And I'm also doing a Quizlet to like help like re-up my brain for when I'm done with this. I can just like go through the Quizlet really quick on my phone just for like added reinforcement. But so far, so good. Okay, hey friends. So I just got out of clinical, as you can see by my very ugly scrubs. Um, but there's tutoring today for adult health. And I've never been to tutoring before because like tutoring in my mind just has a very bad stigma. And I have flashes from, were we disturbing you? I have flashbacks from the third grade when I was just not doing too hot and I was in tutoring every single day because I just didn't care. Um, so tutoring just has a really bad stigma for me, but when it comes to nursing school, I just feel like you need as much help as you can get. Nobody's better than anybody and there's always room to learn, if that makes sense. So I will be going to tutoring today. It's from four to five and someone who just graduated is like the tutor he's super super sweet i've seen him around but i've never talked to him he's super sweet everybody loves him and then one of the theory course leaders um i think she just taught the oxygenation lecture but she's the course leader she's going to be in there as well i'm not really sure the dynamic for like how this tutoring is going to go but i'm just going to go just to see if it will help because i don't feel like it can hurt anything so yeah um i will update y'all when i get back home and tell y'all how it goes Can y'all even see me right now? Is this like blurry? Tell me. Okay, so I just left tutoring and honestly it was really helpful. He recently graduated like in May. So he's like very fresh in like, and people always are like, oh, like I've been in your seat, but he was like recently in my seat, like very, very recently in my seat. So it was like really helpful. Um, and I only asked him one question. I was like, do you think that the questions are fair in that they present information in the PowerPoint and then those, like that's where they pull their questions from? Or are they gonna like pull them from multiple sources that we've never seen before, never heard of, you know, blah, blah. And he said that he thinks they're really fair and all the information comes from the PowerPoint. So I'm gonna hold him to it. And if it's not, Sam, you're gonna be getting an email from me. Um, but yeah, so right now I am going to go take a mental health break and go take Jojo to the quad and then I'm going to go to the library tonight and we're going to do some studying. Okay. Hey twin. So, <laughs> um, I, today is Tuesday, September the 6th and I just got out of clinical. We had clinical from like six to two or six to one thirty today. It wasn't that bad. I actually had a really good patient, but I always have really good patients. So let's hope we, we keep that running. Um, but right now I'm about to go to the nursing building to study in the silent study room um, because one of the theory professors who like teaches in lecture, she's also one of the clinical instructors and like her group and my group are like meshed together. Um, so she's always talking to us about the test saying like, you know, don't be stressed, blah, blah, blah. But I kind of have to take that. I kind of have to take that with a grain of salt because like, you know this material. So like, it's not, <coughs> almost choked on salt you know this material so it's not hard to you but like this material is still like new ish to me so it's harder for me and i think that sometimes like professors just don't understand that um so i'm gonna go in here and we're gonna do some work and i'm bringing it along with me i also got some chick-fil-a for like brain food because i have not eaten have not eaten i had like half a pop tart and after that way and i had a bang energy drink which i'm kind of starting to like come off of right now so we're about to go to the nursing building. We're going to study. It's going to be a good time. My test is six days from today. As far as how I feel, I feel, uh, I feel okay. I feel like I could definitely be stronger in cardiac and oxygenation considering the fact that I have not gone over that lecture at all. But all things considered, everything that I have gone over, I feel very good about. So, I'm excited to see how I feel at the end of the night. Oh my god, did I just smack? Oh, I'm 
sorry if I did. Okay, um, but yeah, I will see y'all at the nursing building because I think this light is about to turn green. Okay, so I am here in the quiet study room and nobody else is here, which is great. I don't know why I feel like somebody else is in here because that would be really awkward. Um, but yeah, so I'm here and I recently just got this um, pencil pouch off of Amazon. It's like a heavy duty pencil pouch and it even has like places for you to like put your pens and stuff. And I recently bought um expo markers not expo sharpie markers because i like to write in the book like physically write in the book um so yeah i'm about to set that up this is my old pencil pouch it's literally like a makeup bag from target but we're gonna put it into an actual pencil pouch and this one wasn't too expensive it was more expensive than i would have liked i think it was like 14 dollars. it's linked in my amazon storefront i'm gonna put it in the description box but yeah because like this is overflowing it's not cohesive it's just a lot going on so i'm gonna i feel like somebody else is in here okay nobody else is in here i don't know why it sounds like somebody else is maybe the walls are just creaking i'm gonna play some music because it's like deathly silent deathly silent in here um but yeah so i'm gonna fill my pencil patch up and i'll show you what it looks like when i come back okay well jokes on me because this actually did not take nearly as long as i thought it was gonna take also the brand is a n g o o angu i don't know anyway so this is what it looks like so this front pouch is like all of my sharpies that i use when i write in my textbook and then it's also like connected to the inside i don't know if you can see that but i'm gonna zip this back up and then I already unzipped it but it's like there's some kind of like structure in here that like keeps it open like that do y'all see it's like hard like metal rods or not metal rods i'm see your girl is not meant to be an engineer um see now my camera angle is all wonky okay but yeah there's like rods or something to like hold it open like this and y'all this is huge i have a big head but it's pretty big um and then in this pouch i just have like all of my pens i have pencils for days if anybody needs a pencil girl Come see me after class or before class, during class. Whenever you want to see me, come see me. Um, also, I recently got these pens. They're the Pinto Intergel 0.7 pen. They're also linked in my Amazon storefront. But these pens right here, girl, amazing. They don't smudge. They don't smear. You can use highlighter on them. They're not going to come up. Because you know how some pens, like, you use the highlighter on top of it. And the highlighter is now forever that color. And it's just annoying and it bothers me so bad. But that doesn't happen. Then I also recently got this highlighter, like the Chunky Clear Tip not a fan not a fan only because the top is really hard to get off and like in an emergency situation i need to see i need to be able to just you know what i'm saying but i can't do that with these so i don't really like them so after these are done finished gone i'm not going to use them anymore i'm not going to buy them anymore um so yeah so this is donezo and yeah we're about to get to studying i will let y'all see a little montage of me studying so i'll be back Okay, so I wanted to show y'all what one of my concept maps looks like. So this is a concept map for valvular. This is a concept map for valvular disease. Here we go. You can kind of see my green sticky notes on the back, but this is what it looks like. She's super cute. She's detailed. And then the back, which is already very banging i just put like the different reasons that this patient would get an echo a chest x-ray cardiac cath and then why they're getting ace inhibitors diuretics like the reasoning like i know what a diuretic does but like why is this patient getting a diuretic why is this patient getting an ace inhibitor an arb you know whatever and then i put like um safety concerns about the patient at the very bottom i don't know why i'm trying to see it as if i didn't write it but yeah, so that's what it looks like. Um, I tried to make these as super, super detailed as possible. You being able to see the green sticky note is gonna kill me, but it's fine. It's super cute, it's detailed, and now I know what valvular disease is because before this, I did not know. So now I know, and I know that the common, the most common cause of it is aortic stenosis. Slay. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this for the rest of the slides and I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay, so I think I'm done with studying for like this little session right here because me waking up at 4.45 this morning and being go, go, go the entire time and it's currently 5.40 p.m. is starting to catch up to me 
and I'm starting to not put as much effort into my um, content maps and that's not fair to me on the back end so I think I just need to go home take a break because I've been go 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 nursing 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 all day and like my brain is not even functioning the way that it's supposed to so I think I'm just go home I'm gonna take a shower I'm gonna play with the Jojo um, do something other than nursing and then I might just do a few quizlets tonight just to like keep my brain fresh so I still feel like I study but like right now mm -mm, it's not good it's not good so I still want to have at least three full days dedicated to studying so I'm gonna finish the other half which is literally less than ten slides like four or five slides from cardiac tomorrow and then I'll do half of oxygenation tomorrow, which that stuff is like fairly easy. It's like, what is COPD, um, bronchitis, nasal cannula, obturators, like it's not that hard. Um, so I'll finish half of oxygen, oxygenation tomorrow. And then Thursday, I wanna finish the rest of oxygenation, tie up any loose ends with studying. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I want that to be dedicated to just studying. And then the test is on Monday. So I think I can do well. I just need to get all this like preliminary studying, writing everything down out of the way. And then I can like move on to like my active studying. But right now I think for today, I'm just kind of over it. So we will come back to this tomorrow. Hey y'all, so today is Thursday, it's September the 8th. Um, yesterday was just like not having a good day these past two days so that's why I haven't really vlogged. I also had clinical yesterday from 6 to 2 and then Tuesday from 6 to 2 so I just eh, wasn't really feeling like studying. I did study a little bit but it was nothing like camera worthy. You know what I'm saying? I was literally doing the same thing that y'all just saw in the last clip. But today um, I am going to meet up with Napoleon and we are going to go to Heritage House. I've never been here. I know a lot of people study here. It's like a coffee shop cafe situation i don't really know what they have i'm probably going to eat a little bit before because i don't want to be disappointed if they don't have food um also y'all i think i'm going through a blue phase because my nails are blue right now and then i just got a blue phone case like i'm going through a blue phase um but yeah so i'm going to study today i have officially i have all of the material for the lecture down and i put everything in my quizlet and so now i'm just in like the active studying process and I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to show you how I make my quizlets, what my quizlets are composed of and of course as always my quizlets are going to be in my link tree because I don't know if I can link them in my YouTube yet but if I can they'll be in the description box below but all of my nursing quizlets everything I've used to help me get A's in nursing school is in my link tree. At the very very bottom it says nursing school quizlet so y'all feel free to use those as you see fit. Um but yeah so I will see y'all when I'm with Napoleon. <laughs> You look HD, girl. Look, look, look. Hey. Look. How y'all doing? <laughs> Just out here. Look, look, I look like I'm living in a yeah. look, luxurious place. We like we have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my podcast. Yeah. Like Welcome back to Sister Sister. They did it, girl. So crazy, but please support me. That. <laughs> Hit in the head 72 times with a, uh, what's some purses? With a, what's the, a Birkin bag? Uh-huh. <laughs> a 72 times with a hard shell Birkin bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, so cause of death, the Emmy said was going to my first trouble <laughs> to the head. <laughs> they didn't proceed to speed, her to push your wobble. <laughs> Okay, everyone, super quick. So I am about to get ready to go to work, hence the green scrubs. Um, I will be studying at work today. I won't be bringing this camera. I'll be bringing my phone, and I just have to make sure that, you know, HIPAA is being upheld. Um, so it probably won't be very many clips, just like a few clips of me studying, but I still want to show y'all the whole process of me studying, so here we go. Okay, y'all, so it is currently September 11th at 4.02 p.m. I did not show y'all me studying at work yesterday because it was just a lot going on, and I just didn't feel comfortable enough to take out my camera and, like, 
film you know what i'm saying um but i did study last night i did some workbook practice questions and that's pretty much all i've been doing for the past few days is questions out of this workbook if you are taking med surge right now this book is a it literally is exactly like the test questions that we take it's probably not verbatim the questions that they're going to pull from but i know my teacher specifically said i was like hey how do you feel about this book in relation to like studying and she was like oh i love that book i i love that so i said girls <laughs> say less <laughs> say less anyway um and so i will just oh and it also has like rationales like after every chapter it tells you why each question was either right or wrong like each answer choice which i love and they also tell you like what place to go back into the book so that you can like see why your answer was wrong but basically everything that's in green if y'all can even see that everything that's in green i knew on the first try this is the cardiac chapter eh, girl cardiac is not my thing everything in green is stuff that i understood like right off the bat the stuff in blue is stuff that either like a we were never taught or b like i just literally had no idea what you were talking about i had no idea where you pulled that information from and then at the bottom i have these little sticky notes if it'll zoom in i have these little sticky notes and it's pretty much just like like extra information relating to the topics that were covered on that page and it just like reinforces the information that I've already learned because like doing a quizlet is one thing but like actually having to apply the information to like a real life nursing situation is totally different quizlet is good for like knowing the foundational stuff practice questions are good for okay you know the information how do you use it and that's pretty much exactly what adult health is you know the patho you know the fundamentals of nursing Okay, now how do you use it to treat this patient? So, this book is amazing, 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 amazing. I didn't buy this book. My friend gave it to me, and they didn't even use it. But, girl, I'm going to use it. This is going to be my buddy. You know what I'm saying? So, right now, I am about to go get Starbucks, and then we're going to go study. I'm not, we're not doing hardcore studying today. Okay, the test is tomorrow. So, I'm going to study for like maybe four-ish hours, okay? I'm going to use my big med surge book. Oh my god, this is so heavy. I'm going to use my big med surge book. She's so thick. She's so thick. I'm going to use her to like reinforce any information that I'm still kind of like fuzzy on, i.e. cardiac, like valvular disorders. I don't know, like PAD, CID, that stuff just does not like click in my head like it does for everything else so i'm probably going to read that chapter on that and take some good notes refresh like probably write on the whiteboard um i'm also going to go over some med cal because med cal's on the test and those should be like easy points i should not be worried about med cal and then i'm going to do a little bit of like an overview on care for transgender patients and ethics because that content is pretty much just like be a freaking good person be a good person that's all it is so i'm not going to spend like too much too much time on that because i feel like i am a good person um that was really stupid to say um I'm going to spend enough time on that, but I'm not going to take away from like the content that I have a harder time understanding. Does that make sense? So yeah, so we're going to go study and then I'm going to go home and do my pre-test nursing school ritual. And that is pretty much where I have my favorite meal with my favorite drink. And then I get in the bathtub and I play some calming music and I light some candles and then I read a book. Every time I do that, the, the results are always usually good. The times that I skip that, are the times that it's not so good so we're gonna go to starbucks and let's just get this day started i will see y'all at the books i'm i'm so annoying sorry about that way but can i get started please? no you're fine can i please have a venti ice caramel macchiato with four pumps of classic and then can i also have um two of the birthday cake cake pops we're currently out of our birthday cake pops. Do you have the cookies and cream one? Uh, let me double check on that. Okay. We do. Okay, yeah, I'll just have two of those. All right, anything else for you? That'll be all. Okay, we'll do. All right, thank you so much. I like the cookies and cream cake pop, but it's like dusty on the top. <laughs> and I think that's just like the Oreo bits, but it tastes like an ashtray. Not really, I'm being dramatic. It's still good, like I'll still eat it, but. It's fine. Okay, thank you so much. At my school, we pay for like food on campus using our action card. Here's mine. She's slaying. It's really old. Can y'all even see this? That's my action card photo. She's slaying or whatever. Thank you. Woo. Sorry. Thanks so much. Have a great one. 
essential workers essential workers that girl literally just saw me say that and she's probably like girl who are you talking to i okay anyway so now we are headed to well i was gonna go to the library but we recently had a new building we built on campus called houston hall and apparently their study rooms are like next level top tier so i think i'm gonna go there if i can find parking which i'm sure i'll be able to Okay, so the building was locked and I feel like it was locked because this is an academic building and it's not a library So like the same reason that the nursing school is closed on Friday and Saturday This building is probably closed on Saturdays and Sundays because it's a school for the business kids Um, so I guess we're just gonna go to the tried and true. We're gonna go to Gorgas. We're gonna make it work It's gonna be a good time. Now we are at Amelia Gill Gorgas library. She's slaying. This is where I used to work It's a really nice place to study and the sixth floor is the quietest floor But I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way up there because like I feel bad for even breathing on that floor but we will see let's go in here and let's pick a floor so i'm in the elevator and i just decided that i am going to go to the sixth floor so i probably won't be talking to y'all but y'all can still see me while i study so here we go sixth floor i'm scared um okay yeah just kidding that was the worst thing i've ever experienced um my eyes going like in my cup was the loudest thing on the floor and it was just too embarrassing so we're gonna go to the second okay so i just went to the second floor and it was definitely a hard pass it's so cool so we're just gonna go to the first floor and we're gonna stay there friends so really sorry for the bad lighting but it is currently 728 oh that was actually better without the light on it is currently 728 and I just had my study session so in there I did cardiac strips I did like counting well like identifying the like what the cardiac strip is and then I did some interval counting and then I read some of the book I did some practice questions out of the book um, and then I did some homework, which I think it's so criminal to have homework due the night before test. Babe, I should be focusing on the test, not on the homework for a chapter that we're going to study at, on the next test. Like, that's just stupid to me. But so I did that. I did start to have like a mental break when it got to counting the EKG strips because the boxes are so freaking small. I know how to count a box, but if I can't see the box, I can't count it. But she was like, oh, I'm going to blow it up super big for y'all so I can see it on the test. So I'm hoping that it's it's big it better be literally a hundred x magnification so that i can see because if i can see then i can count it but if i can't see it i can't count it you know what i'm saying but yeah so then i started feeling like oh my gosh like i'm gonna fail this test i'm not gonna do good i'm not smart enough this is too much information like i don't deserve to be here because this is just too much for me the information is not too much for me that's what i need to tell myself it's not too much because if it was just this by itself i would understand it perfectly but my brain is big enough and i'm smart enough to comprehend all of this information and do well on this test tomorrow I think for tomorrow I just need to work on taking my time reading those questions not rushing through thinking through the rationale and not just picking an answer out of anxiety because that is what I do when I get freaked out I just pick an answer based off anxiety but if I can rationally think through all of these questions I can do a good job but if I freak myself out I'm not gonna do a good job so, I also saw Mick in there. Hey, Mick. And I also saw Claire. They're studying too. Um, if y'all see this, I'm sure y'all did well. Um, so, yeah, right now I'm going to go and get my favorite meal, like I was telling y'all about. So, I'm going to go and get Fusaklis because I had a Fusaklis salad last night at work. Y'all, it was banging. It was banging. So, I'm going to get a Fusaklis salad. Um, and then I'm going to go home. I'm going to feed JoJo, snuggle with him for a little while. And then I'm going to take a nice hot bath. I'm gonna lay in the bath and then I'm going to do a little bit of Quizlet. J just a little bit, just, just a few minutes. And then I'm gonna read my book on my Kindle. I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna have a candle on. I'm gonna have some water so I can stay hydrated. And it's gonna be a good time and everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna pick our outfit for later. So yeah, y'all send me some good vibes, please. Y'all send me some good vibes because I really need them. Okay, so I just finished taking my bubble bath. I did a few practice quizzes when, when words. 
I did a few practice quizzes when I was in the bath, and then after that I read a chapter out of my book. The book that I'm currently reading is A Court of Mist and Fury, which is the second book in the Akatar series. And I really like it, y'all. I really like it. Um, my Goodreads is going to be linked down in the description. My brain is fried. My Goodreads is going to be linked down in the description. My Goodreads is going to be linked down in the description box if you want to add me on Goodreads. There we go. Um, as far as how I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. I do have some superstitions when it comes to like the night before test. The night before test, I have to get my favorite food, I have to take a bath, I have to read a book, and I have to do a practice quiz in the tub. Then I have to get on FaceTime with Justin. For those of y'all that don't know, Justin is my boyfriend and our anniversary is later this week. So. Literally our anniversary and us going out of town is the light at the end of the tunnel for me. Um, but Justin has to quiz me um, using the Quizlet that I made. And then the morning of, I have to wake up and I have to kiss Jojo on the head and say, tell mom good luck. And then I'll do good on a test. If I don't do those things, the test is never good. I don't know what it is about that order, about those things, but I'm not going to mess with the balance of the universe. Okay. If that's what works and that's what works. So. I am currently at the skincare routine phase of the night, um, but as far as how I feel about the test, because I haven't really talked to y'all about it, I feel like this test covers a lot of content, maybe even too much content, because I just don't think that cardiac and respiratory should be together. Cardiac should be its own thing, respiratory should be its own thing, you know, I just feel like that's right, but I feel like female reproductive orders, male reproductive orders, and care of transgender patients should be a whole test within itself. And that's it. We shouldn't be adding on telemetry and cardiac and like, I don't know. It's just too much for me. And they strategically changed like the course schedule from the previous semesters, this semester. So they did this intentionally. This is not no, oh, we've been doing this for decades and it's worked. No, you, you rearranged everything and you put it first instead of being last like it's supposed to be. But whatever. Um, usually before I test, I also get very angry at the faculty and staff. So right now I'm I'm going through my anger process. I'm angry at them for the material that they put on the test and I'm angry for them at them for us even having this test in the first place. This is so stupid. And then y'all, I'm gonna be so mad if I ended up studying all of these things and like none of the material that was in the book, one of the PowerPoints is on the test. Oh, so sorry, Jojo, I just hit you so hard in the face. Because they did that with fundamentals. In fundamentals, we would have a test on like immunity and the test would be on cardiac. Literally nothing that we studied would be on the test. And they'd be like, oh my God, this is something you guys should have just known. Oh my God. So I'm just really worried. Um, but I need to believe in myself. I never, actually no, I don't need to believe in myself because when I believe that I'm going to do good on a test, I start doing bad. But when I don't believe in myself, as I'm doing right now, I usually do better. So I don't believe in myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, and in the morning, baby, I'm walking to CCM with the headphones on. You know what I'm saying? Noise cancellation mode on. Don't talk to me. I don't want to hear what you think the answer is to blah, blah, blah. I don't want to know if you think they're going to ask us so and so. Shh, be quiet because I don't want to hear it. Um, but I am looking forward to my pep talk from Miss Reb Gold. Yes, we love her. She's a queen. Um, yeah, so right now I'm going to go and eat my food, be merry and enjoy. And then I'll see y'all on FaceTime when Justin is quizzing me on my Quizlet. So I will be back. Why I got 619 turns in this? You smart for real. You smart just writing that down. I'll give you credit because I ain't, I ain't able to see turn the turns though, so I've been in college. We know. The rumble, the, 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 the rumble, 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 the which diagnostic tool is 99% sensitive for uterine biopsy. cancer detection? Yes, it is biopsy. I have the nurse. 2%. Cool Y'all know what the nurse is. Y'all know what the nurse is. A DRE and PSA are used to diagnose prostate cancer. True. True. Yes, sir. Don't please stop playing with me. Y'all hear it for real. Continue. If a patient is presenting with abdominal flank or back pain, then which type of aneurysm would you suspect? Abdominal aortic. Okay, so it is 1.25 in the morning. So I think I need to go ahead and go to sleep. I just did a little practice quiz on Davis Advantage. And it made me feel like very prepared for it. Justin reading was just like, 
Dustin, if you're watching this, I love you. But it was just not giving today. Um, but it was a part of the ritual. We had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel pretty good about the test. I'm not going to study anymore. Studying's done. Book is down. Um, and I will see y'all in the morning. My test is at 9. And so I may wake up at like 7.45. It's just because like, I have to walk Jojo and feed him. And I need to get like all my pre-test anxiety out. I may even stop by and like get a coffee or something. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to go take Jojo out to potty one last time. And then I'm going to go to bed. So, I will see y'all in the morning. Bye. This lighting has literally snatched all the melanin off my face. But anyway, good morning, first of all. Um, so today is test day. Time to get up. Time to leave the house. Um, it is currently 8.30 on September the 12th. And... <laughs> um, yeah, it's test day. Y'all, I slept so good last night. I have not slept that good in so long. I took two melatonin right before I went to sleep. I went to bed at like 2 a.m. When I woke up and my alarm went off, I didn't know where I was. I didn't know what day it was. I didn't know why I was getting up. It was a good sleep. And now I just throw on like some really comfortable like joggers and then my favorite nursing sweatshirt that I got made from Etsy. And yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna walk into the building with my headphones on, noise cancellation on, because I don't wanna hear what anybody else thinks is on the test. When anybody they answer to blah blah I don't care I don't care um so yeah I'm about to leave now so I can have enough time to just like sit in my car and just <sighs> so I think it's gonna be okay I will see y'all right before I go in bye wish me luck I don't know why the lighting is so bad um but okay I just got to the nursing building I'm not feeling any nerves I just feel like <clears throat> I just feel like whatever I know I just feel like whatever I know, I know. Whatever I don't know, I don't know. And I feel like there's very little that I don't know. So, I think I'm ready. I'm not feeling any stress, no anxiety. So, we're just going to go in here and we're going to do it. I will see y'all after the test. Okay, so I wanted to do this super quick because the test is over and we have class in 30 minutes. And it is now 10.06. Um, it took me 56 minutes to take the test. It was 50 questions. Uh, I'm going to go over like how I take my test in the next video because it's just like too much to talk about right now. But... Um, I feel like the test was really easy. The only thing that I, there's only one question on there that I was like, girl, what the heck? And that was my own fault because I didn't know normal values for PTT, PT, and INR. So I was just like, and I just picked something. Um, but everything else, I had seen that information before and I knew how to apply it appropriately. Um, Metcal was super easy. The, um... The counting strips was super easy she she did blow it up pretty big so there was no way that i wasn't going to be able to count um so yeah i honestly feel really really good about this test we won't get the grades back until after we come back from mental health because we have class from 8 30 until 4 30 today or from 9 to 4 30 today so after 4 30 the grades should be posted so they'll probably be posted around like five o'clock because they have to do like test analytics so like if a lot of people miss one question they'll just take it off um and get points back so I will see y'all when I'm about to look at my grade. Bye. Friends, so I just got an email that said the grades have been released, meaning that they have done all the stats on them. <sighs> y'all literally can't breathe. Oh my God. Okay. It is okay. It is okay. Whatever I made, that's what I made. Oh my God, I actually can't breathe. Okay, okay. Okay. I have now logged into Blackboard, trying to calm down. Okay, already. I did indeed pass my test. Um, I'm not allowed to say what grade I made because I know I'm gonna post this video before everybody else takes the test and like I don't wanna get in trouble with my nursing school, but I did very well on my exam and I'm, like, I'm so proud of myself and this feels like a weight has been lifted and now I'm going to not think about nursing school for the rest of the day. Jojo and I are going to go on a walk. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I'm going to clean my room, do laundry, deep clean, all the things that I've been neglecting this week because I've been so focused on this test I'm going to do right now. So this is the end of the video. I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing my study process and then also the good outcome at the end. And I will see y'all in the next one. I love y'all.